Okay. Time to hunt a troll or two. I also want to go and get some uh, some good old Sirtling cords if I can. Improve my stock, improve my selection. And then make a crafting hut. And then kill like there. Yeah, it's gonna be a while till I kill that bastard. That's still fine. Oh, one star troll, you are not there anymore. I also need raspberries, and it is horribly foggy. Oh boy. That's fine. That'll go away sometime. Who knows when. We have barrel chambers up north. Why do I have... I guess I have wood there? That's weird. Barrel chambers. Two of them up north. Might as well. Mmm, this should be a fun one. Mm. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh, this morning fog, man. That is not good. I still wish there was some way that we could interact with fog. Make it go away in some way. I mean, we can get rid of the mist, but the fog is still brutal. I honestly find night fog more annoying than mist, especially because the quality of the gear that we can have to deal with uh, mobs you run into in mistlands is just way better than stuff that you can deal with mobs in night fog. Like, you run into a bunch of groves with night fog in the plains? Uh-uh. That's terrible. That's awful. I'd much rather run into a y'all. Alright, fog's going away, just like I thought. Very, very nice. Oh, I didn't even see him there. Okay. Let's just keep moving. It's bound to be a lot of levels gained in the Black Forest, so... I'm not going to push myself too far to snipe the necks in the riverside right now. Not yet, not yet. Maybe these do, though. They're just kind of right there, you know. Oh, it's an instant runner. Oh, well. It's RNG. Which one's which? They could both be runners. They could both be deers in the headlights, I suppose. Don't need that. Uh, might as well. Might as well snipe this guy, he's right here. 112. What is good with the spawns, man? Do you guys think that the Valheim spawns are, you know, higher than normal? In the past, like, six months? I feel like they are. Could be wrong. Who knows? Ah, I need these. Or deer. That's cool, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Trophies are even better for levels. Okay, here we are. Black Forest. Finally. Uh, hello? Cool. Okay, we got gray doors up north, or up up the hill. Okay, chambers are just over there. Uh, check for trolls. Check for trolls. Let's go. Can't have a troll walk out to you while you're swimming. That could be a death sentence. Got a deer in there. Already got a lot of deer meat from this journey already. Okay. Just fiddling with my hot bar.
There's the chamber. Bones are important to have. Oh, clubs 29. Drop, drop, drop. Nope, I need the eye. The eyes are good. Let's get in there. Make some magic happen. Hopefully get a shit ton of these cores, you know what I mean? There's another area that could be open. How open is it? Is the question. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, not very anymore. All right. Oh, getting flanked is no fun, man. If that was a two-star, that would have been not very good. Okay, let's keep going down this way, I suppose. Ah, uh, dead end, finally. Okay, sick. Now we can start stag breaking. Oh, and uh, that's a dead end too, wow. Okay. Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what's going on with your aggro, but... Too bad. Strange aggro. So strange. Got another one here. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, that wing is done. Let's go this side now. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, rush, 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 rush. Do like that core. Ton of valuables. Could still be getting flanked, but I think at the moment it's just one side, so it's not double the mobs. And there was nothing here anyway, okay. All right, decent selection already. Let's see what we got back here. We're in the meadows, apparently. Oh, we could have a ranch of remains at the end of this. When you see the hallway go wide, just know that there is a nice end to this section on the left side. Could have a ranch of remains, we do have a chest. Maybe a bunch of cores. Splendid, okay. Man, I can't see shit. Which means y'all can't see shit either. Uh, we got some goods though. Check it out. Five cores now, whole bunch of other stuff. See what's on the right side now. Nothing. Alright, we got five cores though. And there's still that middle section. Very nice. Let's get back to that middle area. Eat the meat. Weird. Oh, hi. Uh, Alright. What's through here then? Uh, another door. That's fine. Chest. Oh, okay. Not bad, but it's not cores. But we already got five cores. Okay, okay. This is done. It really wasn't that bad either. Grey dwarf over there. Wonder if I could take him out. Where'd he go? 
It's not very important. Okay, now we have that. Do I want to take a big swim and risk troll having pop in? I don't think I do. There you are. Just a single great worth. Goodbye. Do we have an eye? Yep. Why did I equip that? Love the eye. Take as many eyes as we can get in this early stage. Any trolls want to say hi? Hmm? I'm looking for a troll or two. I don't see any in the distance. No. Nah. Alright then. Second burial chamber. Let's go. And there's an island in, over there. That's curious. I should mark that. Oh, it's a whole... It's a ton of shit. Okay. This is like a lake-like area. Oh, hello, Yggdrasil. Damn, what a view. So this goes all the way around and a whole bunch of shit. Wow. Okay, so that must be... The Elder must be pretty close. At least that Elder. And then there's... Wow, this whole area is cool. Must be good sailing. Like, really good sailing. Not just river-wise, but ocean-wise, too. Lake-wise, what have you. Okay, multiple open areas. Let's take you out, Mr. Archer. Don't want to be flanked, I really don't. A core! Okay. Ah. Uh, two archers. Thankfully, I have all this armor. Let's check this. Could be a bone pile. Evil bone pile, you know. It's like, how do these guys appear? And are they spawning or are they just here? Okay, that's a dead end. Oh. Almost didn't grab that mushroom. Door and door. Okay. So this is done right now. Let's go back. What's going on over here? Oh, dead end. Okay. Alright, fine. Ooh, I saw you, skeleton. Yep. A ghost. Check that fire damage. It's done. That's right. That's why we have the fire arrows ready. That is super nice. Oh, I'm all full of amber. What do I ditch for that? I guess three wood, yeah? Another core. And we have cores down here, too. Oof. This is 10 now, that's excellent. So that is a set of smelters in addition to the kilns. Fantastic. I say a set, but it's just two of each, I suppose. A set relative to the kilns. That would work. Okay. What is this? Skeleton trophy, I want that, okay. Uh, oh, come on. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Do you mean, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and this is a dead end, right? Yes. Okay, so we go, let's just go down the middle, why not? Oh, why not? And why not? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh, you're done. Oh, hello. Another core, which means I have to discard something else. Aye, aye, aye. It's getting tough here, but I think I'll ditch the one blueberry. It's just one blueberry. No doors there. Ooh, I saw that skeleton. Got a door there. Another core. All right. Is it downhill? Do we have anything down here? No. Okay, what is this now? Just bones and a mushroom. Okay. And now we can do the side branches if there's anything here. Nope, suppose not. Alright, that's done. And now I am almost out of rest, so I should go back. Back home with me. Got exceptional loot. I'm ready to go. Watch me find like a two star troll or some shit. When I'm almost at arrested. All this loot. 12 cores, that's a good haul. Ooh, we're gonna be wet and arrested. It's a bit annoying, but super linear path back home. That's okay. Blueberries I don't have the space for. I don't know why I'm like trying to see if there are any drakes or anything. It would be fun to snipe one out of the sky. The early eyes, or the early freeze glands don't really mean much, but it would be cool. So many blueberries. I do like the bird. Yeah. Snipe this one star too. Pardon me. Let's get that stand back. Ah, yes, the ever so underrated strategy of walking away. So much stand back just for free. Not as efficient, well, if you have the stem, you can just kill them. But. Still very nice for these particular moments without rested or what have you. All right. Let's keep it move on. More gray dwarfs. Well, hello. Love the two shot. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Little tiny sprint there while attacking just so that I could reach him. Yes, it's stamina hog, but yes, it's also just more efficient and the stamina just regens. Done with the encounter? Ah. Regen your stamina. Really is that simple. Raspberries. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna need these for potions. A little bit of Queen's Jam. I'm gonna really need these. 
more. They're not ready yet. Damn. Oh well. Simple riverside run at this point. Oh, we can be more efficient than that. Even though the river is very aesthetic. Might as well get home before we're, you know, cold, no rested. At least we're not wet, you know. Cold, wet, no rested. Mm-mm, that is brutal. Brutal. I once killed a two-star with fine wood bow and other such Bronze Age gear. It was a two-star troll. I was cold, wet, no rested. There was a shaman, a bunch of brutes and grey dwarves. Not a bunch of brutes, a bunch of grey dwarves and a brute. That was a tough one. That was a tough one, yeah. Ah, here we go. Perfect time to be cold, too, because we're back at the base. Back at the base, and I got a lot of loot to put away. Oh, it feels good to be back here. Ooh. Look at all that. Oh! That is a big production right there. Holy shit. Oh, man. I gotta make more chests. What the hell? That's a lot. Didn't get a troll, but that's fine. No, we'll put them in here for now. Where are my valuables? Just a ton of stuff. Holy shit, I need to make more chests. I need to do something. Let's put them in here for now, I guess. Oh, the mushrooms. So many yellow mushrooms. You know what? So many yellow mushrooms, in fact, that... Okay, well, now I don't have enough space for raspberries, but I could totally start eating some yellow mushrooms. And now I don't have enough space for red mushrooms. God damn it. Uh, well, big berries. I could put the big berries somewhere else, like in here. Okay, I gotta make more chests. <laughs> I gotta make more chests. Uh, that'll be a tomorrow project. Oh, well, I have wood here, but even so. Even so. Uh, okay. So now I've just gotta get everything set up chest wise I need another food chest Let's see I also need another well, let's just yeah make that last one there need another chest for like base mats and stuff let's put one more down Let's have a specific chest for feathers, just because I have a shit ton of them. Yeah, 154 already? Jeez. Jeez. Alright. We also have bones, which I could put back in there. That can stay like that for now. Let's put resin in its own chest as well. Yoink. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. Let's keep munching on that. Love the additional stam now. I could do raspberry. No, I want to save the raspberries. I have in the past done raspberry yellow mushroom and deer meat just for double stam early and that's pretty convenient but i think i want to save it all right i need more stone and let's just make like more sets of this shit
come on. There we go. Might need the hoe to flatten this area out a little bit more. Ooh, raspberries at the base. Yes. Excellent. The honey's probably at three. Maybe even two. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, more stone, but let's repair. Stone, 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 stone. I need it. We got some mushrooms. back is a little bit unfortunate but at least it's just on the greylings stone 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 that's a cute little island there I need to find a hill of sorts Ooh, this river that might be it that's a good source of stone right there Anything sort of cliffside is perfect. At least early on before you have the pickaxe. If you're being stubborn like me, or... I don't know. Just... Eh, I wouldn't say stubborn. Alright, we have the stream here. It's not as steep as I expected. Or as I remembered. But we do have cliffs, I see them. I see them. Stone. Yep. Here we are. Yeah, there we go. So much stone. Holy shit. Stone for days. It just keeps giving it to me. Fifty stone already, yeah. And there's so much more to be had. Look at this. Now this is a proper cliff face. Huh. Sir, that's not allowed. Off the cliff with you. I wish you took fall damage. Okay, that should be over 60, right? Oh yeah, 70. That should be, yeah, that's that's the rest of them. And there's even more cliff face. Wow. Just simply wonderful. Oh. I suppose it is river by meadows. Oh, look at the raspberries. Mm, weight limit, yeah? Okay. Sir, don't touch my raspberries. I tried to read them, but a little too early on that. Ooh, we can just see the base from over here. That is cool. That is nice. 
Well, I'm just going to use you as target practice. Sorry. Might as well get those. Okay. Set up the rest of them. Okay, I think this can be the crafting area. At least part of it. It's right here. I mean, it is right here. I'll check that. Excellent. Excellent. We got three. Let's have three and three. How are we going to place it? How are we going to do this? Do we need... <gasps> Can I walk? Yep. All right. It's set. We got it. A fish. Yoink, dude. Pulled a thread just now. His dude mannerism might be rubbing off on me. Oh my god, look at this little bridge. Oh, it's so nice. Such a cute little bridge. Hmm. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Suppose I'll have one of these chests be a fish chest. There we go. Other meats can go in there eventually. Uh, well. I suppose I can put some in there now. Let's see. Resin. Mushrooms. Stones. Bones. Wood. Okay, crafting area. I need more wood. And I also want some core wood. I do have some core wood, but I'm gonna need more than that. Let's put this here and go go out and you know gather all that good stuff. See if I can't get a troll as well. You know I gotta say, okay, here comes the the rants of the episode. You know, do not buy a thermometer for steaks that is a probe thermometer. Do not. Don't do it. Do not do it. I was recommended a video uh, basically saying, like, here, here's, how you, here's why you don't rest your steaks, bro. And, oh my god, what a travesty of a video, right? Let's just check the bees. Total travesty of a video. Ooh. And uh, the whole video was just like a terrible shill for the guy's very own meat thermometer. Which, I mean, it, you know, probe meat thermometers are good if you want a meat product that's going to be very good at uh, the same temp all throughout. Like if you're cooking a big thing low and slow. I'm talking like a brisket or pulled pork or what have you. In order to make sure that thing is juicy and got everything done at the right temps, the right times, a probe thermometer is going to be the way to go. But for a steak, where you want that thing seared and you want to even cook throughout it as much as possible so that you can get your actual right proper temperature doneness of preference and not a little bit over or what have you. Then you're going to want a uh, surface thermometer. One of them like laser scanners, you know what I mean? Looks like a, a barcode scanner almost. You want one of those. Now, I don't have one because uh, I know how to cook a steak. You know what I mean? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm experienced in that regard, at least. I'm not as seasoned of a cook as like my dad or grandpa. But... 
I can cook a fucking steak, right? I can do so without a thermometer. And just have the heat high, sear that shit. Good oil, tiny bit of butter. Love the combo because it helps with a flavor, the nuttiness of the butter when you round it up. Put in your aromatics at the end, rosemary, garlic, what have you. It helps uh, having oil with that because of the whole uh, smoke point type stuff. You don't want shit to burn, you know. That, that would impart a nasty flavor, and that's no good. All right, I need to go up to the Black Forest. But, uh, you have it at really high temp, so you can get that sear while maintaining the inside as whatever desired temperature. And then you take it off early so that the carryover cooking cools the steak down. And that's like the resting process, you know. Whatever other benefits it might have, that's irrelevant because... Temperature-wise, just having a good temperature for literally eating the food without burning your taste buds off for the day. That's important. That's important. And, you know, me personally, I like my steaks rare. That shit's good. Haven't gotten sick from it once. Neither has any of my family members. Pretty good, huh? It's because we source our steaks well and we cook our steaks well. Gotta get that surface to a good point, good sear, and then... All your germ problems are over. Anyway. Going on from that. I mean, this guy. Selling his probe thermometer for steaks. In his experiments, when he showed steaks that he didn't like. That were quote-unquote overcooked for him. Overcooked for me too, personally, right? I could see the issues that he would have with them. And he said, now look at the method when I, you know account for the carryover cooking and the steaks looked amazing dude they looked so good oh my god his two examples of steaks done right accounting for carryover cooking which is classic you know i do that all the time it's just how you make a good steak uh yeah they look great in his end example it looked the same as the bad example from before at the start of this video his end example of what to do right was literally the same look as what to do wrong in his example fucking ridiculous you know and of course it's like if you cook to temp for the center because heat only gets from uh from like uh, the interface it goes from interface to interface it's just how heat works you learn that shit in like middle school uh, it's going to apply more and the parts that are uh, applied more are going to cook more the closer to the source of the heat that you go simple as that right seems seems easy seems like everybody knows okay good uh, apparently he didn't know that, and a lot of people were bamboozled by the high production value of his video to, to see, I mean, such an obvious, obvious flaw. I mean, that was brutal, dude. Just brutal. Why do I have only five feathers? What's going on? Where's the sixth feather? Where is it? Is it down here somewhere? It probably is, eh, you know, eh. I'm on a mission for Corbett anyway. Black Forest is right up here, let's go. So yeah, anyway, it was a, it was a terrible video because of course if you cook to the center with a probe thermometer on a steak, you're going to get the same uneven cooking that he was trying to avoid. So he's just Essentially, instead of avoiding carryover cooking, he is guaranteeing carrying over cooking, which is funny. Funny in uh, how painfully stupid it is. But, uh, yeah, really bad, really bad chill video. And uh, it's strange to see how many people are fooled by high production quality. It's so strange. I say this as, you know, 
being in the video game guide scene, I see people being bamboozled by high production videos all the time that have no substance to them. But yeah. Uh, his conclusion being completely antithetical to his uh, problem is very funny. Like, it's very easy to identify an issue relative to actually solving the fucking problem. That's why people have been obsessed with uh, others having constructive criticism. It's why I, you know, it's good to mention uh, when I mentioned the Final Fantasies of the last episode. It's like, well, you can't have that constructive criticism. You can't come to good conclusions because the good conclusions have already been came to. And in the same way, you really have to look out for uh, people who either A, just identify problems because it's very easy to ident identify issues. But C, C, B, it's really uh, imp imperative that you try to dig down and figure out the actual proposed solution that people have for anything. Because could be just A, they have no solution, which like, okay, well, so much help that was. Or B, the solution is total bullshit or gets you in the same exact problems, which, hey, hey, you know, that's what this guy did with his uh, stake issue. Anyway, yeah, don't pay like 200 fucking dollars for a meat thermometer that's going to cause the same issues as what you're trying to avoid. That is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Just take the steak off early. Just take the steak off the fucking pan early. Jesus Christ. How hard is that? Adapt, bitch. It's cooking. That's what you have to do. I'm sure everybody knows this. You know this, okay? It is patronizing to have to hear that. But, my God. This guy's got like 157,000 subscribers. Which honestly isn't that much. Especially compared to the people who have come to a more interesting conclusion. Which, you know... I'm going to talk about uh, how he's responding to them, uh, like, after, but, uh, the sous vide audience, people have seen his, uh, his problem, and they've said, yeah, just sous vide that shit, bro, just sous vide, just sous vide. And he says, in response, holy shit, I mean, you're gonna, you guys are gonna, love this shit listen to this he says uh you know not everybody has sous vide well, yeah not everybody has a 200 fucking dollar meat thermometer as well bozo i mean what the fuck jesus christ i mean it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous but of course everybody has experience and you know a decently capable mind where if you are at least cooking then you can adjust your prep you can adjust your process so just adjust your process and make a better steak I don't understand but yeah no you don't have to spend 200 fucking dollars for this thermometer uh, it's ridiculous ridiculous And yeah, uh, in his end result, he rested his steak anyway, even though he said, there's no benefit to resting your steaks. And then he says, uh, somebody somebody asked him, like, why why would you do that then? Why would you rest your steaks anyway if you said there's no benefit to it? And he said, well, it gives me time to make a pan sauce or this and that, uh, you know, it, to warm my plates and get things ready. It's like, bro, those are the benefits then. Those are the benefits then. <laughs> then you should rest your steaks. Then the resting steaks has benefits other than just, you know, waiting for it to become edible in terms of temperature. Literally, benefits. Like, shit, dude. Oh my god, how embarrassing. How fucking embarrassing. And naturally, I mean, he's not responding to anybody who has, like, legitimate criticism. He's very much nut-picking the people that he can respond to. And then, like, I made the, I made a comment on my personal account, so, you know, of course, I had to say fucking something. I basically did, like, an anti-shell thing, similar to what I said. It's just, like, just fucking adjust your time. 
That's really so simple. You don't have to buy a thermometer. That's ridiculous. He did, of course, he didn't respond. I could tell that he responded to comments like one minute ago uh, relative to when I had made my comment. He didn't respond to my fucking comment. He also didn't respond to people uh, actu- accurately mentioning that uh, internal probes for steaks are just terrible because of the additional heat processing. Uh, he also said that... Uh, what did he say? I'm trying to think of something else he said. Oh man, that's tough. There's a lot of bullshit in that video and in the in the comments. We'll try to order it. He, okay, the Subid thing contradicted himself. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm blanking. It, I, I just had it and I forgot it. Damn, I hate when that happens. Oh, just over his head. That's unfortunate. Finewood bow's really fucking me over here with the spray. Ah. Uh, let's go get him. We got Axis 20 now. Mm. Speaking of which, 11 to 20. 10 18. Still, though, that was the stam difference. Is like how much stam costs? Six U stam. It's probably the same, right? Yeah, it's the same. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Just use the bridge like normal. Alright, let's move this, uh, Workbench here. Get started on this crafting area. I think I'll remove these walls. Or fences. As cute as they are. And, uh... Ooh, 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 hang on. Hold on. Just one, one moment. How the piggies doing? Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. There's a, there's, there are, okay, there are two, two star boars and a bunch of regular ones. It's time for me to kill the regular ones. Sorry. Okay. Let's turn, where is it? Friendly fire enabled. Bye bye. Sorry, bud. Rip. I need efficiency. It's a tragic reality. I need that efficiency. Well, I did have a lot of... Uh, I do have a lot of raspberries now. So, that's good. Mm, 150 raspberries. We got bonus raspberries here too. Let's take the bonus raspberries and I'm gonna leave the mushroom just in case. And then let's just take 17 to make it 20. That was some good piggy progress. I love that. There we go. Now we should have a whole bunch in due time. And let's make some time. Let's get this crafting started. It's a little much. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. Let's leave it open. It's just convenient. Let's put some wood in there. Wood. Slow walk. Slow walking. Okay. That'll be convenient. I'll rebuild them when the boars and chickens and stuff start to just take over this area. 
and then I don't want them in the way or pushing me out of the way or what have you. Definitely gonna wall off my crafting area. The fucking ice cream man is a, what? That is an what's the degree outside? It was just snowing. Hang on, let me check the temp. Sorry. Ain't no way I just heard that ice cream man. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Real feel 49. Dude, what the fuck? Ice cream man, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, boss? Yeah, he's coming down. What the hell? <laughs> I can hear him. Oh my god. People outside are cheering because they're tired of winter. Can't blame them. Everybody always gets tired of winter at a certain point. Uh, let's keep this. Mm. No, let's do it, do it like this, yeah? So that we have gates available. Let's just, yeah. Make the gates like so. Gotta keep this crafting area cart friendly. And I mean, we can make this like tall, tall. Let's make it two stories high. Oh, I see the issue. Ay, ay, ay. Man, if you don't go to the bottom, maybe I should have started with this. Uh, ooh, that works, that works. Yeah, you're blue now. Okay. Nice. Are you blue now? Yeah, okay, okay. You're not blue. What the hell? Still green. Maybe it's just because it's floating and I need the hoe. Let's get the hoe. this or do I want to make him a little bit fancy? Mm, I don't know. Let's make him a little bit fancy. Just a tad. Let's go even beyond. And this is the girl even beyond. I can't do a Goku voice, man. For the life of me, I can't do that shit. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's, why not? Get these fellas in the middle here. Ooh, it's gonna be strange, but I like it. Let's see, we're gonna have a staircase on the side, and then we're gonna have whatever crafting just right on the other end, like here. So the staircase is gonna start here, and it's gonna get real tall, and then we're gonna have shit under the tall side. And then we're going to rinse and repeat that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, pardon me? What's the problem here? Oh, I see the problem. We're gonna have this problem over here, yeah. Okay, did the same thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
Cool. Why is it? Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah, it's fine. It's taking me back to like Lincoln Logs shit. Oh, I need more core wood. I used to love Lincoln Logs, man. I used to be so good at that shit. People used to uh, be playing with a set amount of Lincoln Logs as well, just back at like elementary school and shit. And they would literally just give their Lincoln Logs to me because I was making something better. They just said, no, you're, the Lincoln Logs are better off with you right now. And I was like, yeah, okay, thanks. And then I proceeded to build some sick ass shit. And then, then I would demolish it and I'd start something new and, you know, everybody would have their chance again to fuck around with them. I wouldn't hoard them, you know. Let's see if we can get like a tiny fella. Nah, okay. So this is gonna have to be pretty unique, I assume. Oh, maybe some angles? How is this gonna work? So let's do I wonder if we can do like a little bit a little fella? Ooh, how is this going to work? What if I did like that? That angle is off. Uh huh. And then. Can we just keep going? Almost. Oh, it's almost. What if we change the angle? Honestly, looks very weird. But, I think this is it, right? Kind of. It's pretty strange. Could put some cool trophies there, though, I assume. It's fun to say a thought. Why? Uh, how are we gonna do this? Ah, we're starting to get pretty neat with it. Things are starting to look pretty neat. Ooh, what if we did angles like... Mm-hmm. And now we can get rid of that. Give me that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Very odd. Esoteric shit right here. Very esoteric shit. What if we had extra beams, you know? Like, kind of like that. Uh-huh. Just to cover up the little gap there, you know what I mean? And then we could do like a little fella, right? If we really wanted to. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm keeping it like that. That looks fucking sick. I'm telling you right now. Do we want a bonus in the middle or are we just going to leave it like that? Hmm. Maybe we put like a serpent trophy in that middle section eventually. I don't know. I'll save I'll save it for I'll save the designs in in tr fancy shit for uh better mats later on potentially. Let's keep it a relatively open concept, but I definitely want to put the roof on. So let's go get some regular wood. I've been so enthralled with this little build that's been taking my mind off of the meat thermometer guy. What a strange guy. I'll be excited when, uh, probably even, like, amateur food guys or sous vide guys, like, come in and just, like, take his video and be like, and that's why sous vide, which they already have more audience than he does, so it's like, he's already fucked himself in that regard. Just very funny. Ooh. 
Well, we gotta we gotta attach like this, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Got another angled. You know what's really concerning as well is he does this uh, strange appeal to authority, where people will say, "Uh, I don't know, dude." That seems kind of fucking wrong. And then he says, ah, I've I've been like a head chef, a former professional chef. And I've worked in chemistry and I know what I'm talking about. And then somebody else will be like, yeah, I have like similar credentials and you're kind of full of shit, bro. And then there's like no response. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's so embarrassing, man. I have the worst secondhand embarrassment, I swear to God. I feel for people in social situations too much. Way too much. Oh, this is coming along nice. Come on, there we go. Uh, I think leaving it open concept is gonna be so cool. At least for now. Do we need to touch tips? There we go. Oh, we just need to do this angle. There we go. I got the right perspective now. There we go. How cool is that? How nice is that? Let's get a view from back in here. Let's say we're sailing in. Mmm. You know, it kind of looks like uh, almost a figure of like a ward. In, in a weird way. A ward would look pretty good on top of that building. Hmm. That would look pretty damn good if I say so myself. Oh, I know. I'm going to need to wall it off uh, because of the fucking... Um, they need to be... What's the word? What's the word that workbenches need? They need to be, like, covered or some shit? I don't know. I'm blanking on that word. Sniperholics. We got us knives. Sniperholic. Oh man, what a structure though. Open concept. Yo, look at the view from the other side of that building. Through the house. Oh, open concept to the next level. I did, in my uh, Deathless Run, that open concept Black Forest build. Holy shit. This is a different kind of open concept, but I dig it. Oh, look at the sun coming down with it. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm cooking. Even though I'm still very blocky with some of these builds, I'm cooking. It's all in the nuance. Let's see, you know, you know, I've got seasoning to my dishes. Okay. I'm gonna need much more core wood to get some cool designs. Let's see. Let's go 16 for my arrows. Let's turn that off. Get that instant rested, and then again, I want to venture out in the Black Forest to get some more core wood. Maybe even find a troll that I've been trying to find this entire time, kind of. Yeah, but nah, I can't wait till like Guga Foods and or Grant Killy from uh, the whole Chef Steps team gets their hand on that video, or all their hands on it. Because they have so much more audience, and they're just going to use it to show their own products. <laughs> which is amazing, because like they had, they do good shit, actually. It's like, sous vide like, is a good thing if you can afford it. It is very good quality. And like even then, like taking the bag and then making pan sauces, which, again, Mr. Meat Thermometer recommends resting so that he can do, <sighs> is... Much more convenient, because you just literally dip the juices into the pan and make the fucking sauce. 
It is just that easy. Okay. We don't have to go all the way up, I think. Yeah, and just go over here and get some core wood. I'm almost at Bose 30, which is so nice. Oh, mushroom. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even see that tree. It's fucked up, man. I gotta stop bringing boar trophies home, man. And I don't mean, uh, nah, you know what? I shouldn't finish that sentence. Where are the pines? There we go. Hmm. Okay, let's not destroy these blueberries. Let's also get like a decently open area so that I can see if there are any trolls around or if there are any incoming when I start chopping. This is a great area. Decent clearing. Don't have to worry about blueberries. Okay, it's a great orb. That two shot is convenient, man. That is nice. There's another one. Ah, rock knockback. Call that shit rock back. Blueberries. I need like a giant blueberry like creature to stop by and say hello. So that I can kill it. Okay. Stack of core wood should do me. Still want that troll hide cape. I've got so much, or so many bones at this point. I'm just like, ah, I want it. Oh, oh, where'd you all come from? A tower or something? Yeah, there's a tower. Okay. Let's go just constant attacking you. There you are. Finally, I've been waiting for you. Holy shit, man. Where have you been, buddy? Ooh, I've got so many stories to tell you. You'll never guess what this guy recommended in a food field. Might as well check out that uh, tower, yeah? Should be a brute there as well. Ooh, let's yank this. Might as well. Ah, another day, another Elder Vegas here. Might as well collect this a little bit of fine wood. Uh, Troll Trophy can go. Blubbers. 
Another one of them little stone thingies. A little incomplete arch. The tower is happy to see me. Where was I chopping wood? I mean, this whole area is a great spot to be chopping wood, but... I thought I had maybe a specific log down or something. No, it doesn't seem like it. No, this is this is the area for sure. Ay ay ay. Oh, come on, man. What? At least he's still not okay. Well. <laughs> Another one. Oh boy, let's just wait and parry. The usual. That was a very tame tree fall. Also, I'm surprised no Gregor of Brute at the uh, tower. It's kind of shocking. Okay, what do I drop? Resin can go. Regular wood can go a little bit. Give me that core wood, please and thank you. All right, we have exactly a stack. Exactly. Let's get our ships on out of here. Mission accomplished in more ways than one. No, sir. I love doing this horizontal last run when you run on these cliff sides. It's very nice. Very satisfying, even though it costs more stamina. Get some neuron activation in when it doesn't punish you. Well, yeah. It could bonus you, but not in that situation. No mobs, no probs. I'm gonna act like I didn't just come up with that. Ooh, it's gonna be nice seeing that new structure from range. Yeah, let's go. That's so nice. All right, let's get started. Still got plenty rested. Just set this up like this, yeah? Uh oh. This is gonna eat through hella. <laughs> hella core wood. Oh, God. Do I even want to make it like that, though? That's so basic. It's nice, but it's basic nice. Hmm. Oh. I think I have to do that for the coverage. Okay, well, let's wait on that. And actually move the workbench. Or, yeah, let's move the workbench in there. Wooden core wood. A little bit of fine wood. Ten eyes from that journey. That is nice. Meat and such. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, seeds. Yes, forgot about that. We got valuables. Hey, 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 let's go. Put the feathers away. Troll hide cape. 
And then I should be able to upgrade something. Not the cape. Nope, can't upgrade anything. Rip. Cape, I just need one more troll hide. Yep. Oh boy. At least we got sneaky. That's nice. Okay. I'm going to keep this workbench and the chopping block there. I need 10 more flint. Do I even have that here? I probably don't. No, nope, I don't. So the reason why I want a quality to workbench here is not only so that I can uh, repair a bunch of shit easier, but also I can craft a bunch of fire arrows with that. Real simple. And I'm going to be making those, so it'll be good to have this uh, chopping block here. But I am going to have a new workbench, new chopping block, and then I'll move this tanning rack into the actual uh, crafting area. Let's eat, and then I'm going to need that flint. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, too high. Fine with bow, stop fucking with me. Bro. Oh my god. There we go, that's it. Yeah. Nice. I should have just taken the bridge. Good amount of flint just right here. I love that. Jump shot. Ooh, there we go. Snipe redemption. Sniperholic. Snipe redemption. We have the snipes. No Wesley. Alright, that's ten. I, I gotta cook. Next episode. I just gotta cook, man. Let's see. Let's grab nine wood. Get the deer trophy away. Two. Oh, this is the wrong spot. What am I doing? Yo, this shit looks sick. Stairs here. Bench is going to be over there. Mm -hmm. Chopping. Chopping blackily. Chopping blackily. I'm in a whimsical mood today, I suppose. Excellent, look at that. Exposed! Why did I think C? Why did I think C? I got my letters mixed up in a really weird way. Too exposed, but how do we get it not exposed? Let's see. Let's experiment. That'll be the last part of this episode. This type of odd experimentation. You know what? Fences were cute, but I'm just jumping over them. I'm just jumping over them. Ah, the beauty of having a large base. Feather delivery service. Okay. Let's start with a whole bunch of this shit, right? How much do I need? Let's start with two. Oh, still too exposed. Or no. Let's do another one. Let's 
It's gonna be three on each side. Still too exposed. What the hell? Dude! Is it like a... Is, is it a wind thing? Aha! We found it! Okay. Okay. Can I break one of these? Is it exposed now? Oh, it is! Okay. Hmm. But do I keep it like that? Do I settle? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I even? Mmm, I could embellish this with a number of different ways, I suppose. I could, I could, I could. I'm gonna keep it like that, but I'm gonna keep the others kind of open. Now let's get some stairs down. Oh, there's not enough room for that. Uh, so we're gonna do like, like, mm, like this, yeah. And then we go like this, and then we can start going up like this, this, this. Okay, we're making huge progress here. And then we can set down this as a second floor. And now, I mean, this shit is extra covered up. Nice. That is not... Okay, things are a little weird here. What's happening? What's good, man? What's good? What's good with this? Oh, is that a little separated from the edge? No, it's, it's on there. Alright. Let's do one more layer of core wood just so that it looks smooth. Yeah. Now we can continue with this flooring like such. I need more regular wood. I'm gonna need some sort of back entryway. Does this work? No. Fine. That's fine. Uh, here, let's do one of these. That works. And uh, if I wanted to, I could cover this with at least part of this with deer rug. Deer rug? Deer rug! No, I have one in there. Okay. I thought I'd forgotten it for some reason. It's weird. Okay, let's have a tiny thing here, just to make that look proper. And, I don't know, maybe this would look good too. Interesting. Let's extend this down like so. Oh yeah, very interesting. And then I can have Forge up here. That would be cool. Yeah. Alright. Now, back entrance wise.
Kind of. Kind of. If I sprint... We're just in there. Okay. I have a plan. Okay. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna leave this back entrance away for now. But eventually this is gonna be hidden by a banner. I'm gonna have a horizontal something. Or other. Or maybe I'll just put the banner there. Oh no, I'll have a, a bar like higher up on the side. And then I'll put the banner hanging down from that. It'll be connected to one of these core wood thingies. And then the banner will hide the entrance way in. I kind of want to save my fine wood as it is right... Oh, wait, no, no, hang on. I have the one fine wood from the tower, which means I have 22 fine wood. Which means I should have just enough for a spare banner. Okay, so I need six of these. And then I can add... Let's take some coal. I don't know how much coal is a black banner. I have enough. Alright. Uh, I'm going to need some bonus wood. Let's see. Do I want some bonus coral? Let's just fuck it. Bonus coral. And then we'll put the banner here. That's fire. That's so nice. Oh, I like it so much. I really enjoy that. Yo. Alright. There's still room for a lot of uh, expansion on that. In terms of uh, Bronze Age design and all sorts of fancy shit. Which I can splurge on knowing that I'll be grinding all that shit out for the future. But yeah man. That's sick. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Alright. Everything here is excellent. I am prepped, prepped, prepped for the Bronze Age, which means next episode is Ikthir. Oh, <laughs> get ready. It's going to be a cakewalk, but still, Ikthir plus Bronze Age, mm, I hope you're as hyped as I am. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.